Imagine this scenario. You've been targeted by a violent stalker and you discover that he's planning to attack you in your home. You call the police only to be told, people die, get used to it. In ball terms, this is essentially what happened to Embassy Rabat in Morocco in the early 1990s. Joan Plaisted, who was a charge d'affaires at the embassy at the time, said that they had received a credible threat about a bomb attack by Hezbollah. There were several details to make this threat more worrisome. It would be a car or truck bomb driven directly onto the embassy compound. The embassy immediately sprang into action uh, and contacted the Moroccan authorities. They were quite cooperative and provided additional police protection and concrete barriers and closed off side streets. However, they could not close off the main road that was in front of the embassy. The embassy regional security officer, or RSO, immediately contacted the U.S. military base at uh, Wiesbaden, which also provided security experts. However, Placid then contacted the deputy head of the department's Office of Diplomatic Security, or DS. The response was, and I quote, If Hezbollah pulls a car with a bomb in it up to your embassy, lady, you're going to lose some people. Probably people on the ground floor. Some people are going to die on your watch. That person then added that there were other threats in the world that were worse than what you're facing. Fortunately, for whatever reason, there was no attack on the embassy. Perhaps the would-be perpetrators were put off by the increased security measures. A few years later, in 1998, Ambassador Prudence Bushnell also complained about embassy security and was also ignored. However, in Nairobi's case, inaction had a heavy price. The embassy was blown up. Check out the video we did. It's in the Africa file on the top of our page. In any case, since then, the department and DS have been very proactive in building bomb resistance embassies and beefing up security. 9-11 has a way of focusing one's mind in that regard. ADST, follow us for more.